What's wrong? You look more miserable than usual. Bob just told me he doesn't have enough money to fully fund my ideas for the neurology wing. You're kidding. No, he showed me the revised plans. He's gutting everything that would have made it special. Okay, well, we could do a fundraiser on the show. No, uh, we'd never raise enough money. I need millions of dollars for this facility. Know anyone with that kind of money? Yeah, actually, I do. Glad I found you. Why? No reason. So, how's it going? How's what going? You know, life. Seriously? Yeah, how's the boyfriend? He's an ex-boyfriend, and, uh, I think you know better than I would. You see him every day. Oh, yeah, right. Um, yeah, uh, he's good, in case you were wondering. What is wrong with you? Nothing. I'm, I'm just being friendly. Why? You don't do friendly. There's no reason why we can't get along. Seriously? The world's greatest doctor and Richie Rich? Yeah, sorry about that. Don't listen. I was just being... What? Friendly? Yeah, right. Well, you can stop, because it really doesn't suit you. You obviously want something, so why don't you just ask me, I'll say no, and then you can go back to being yourself. I know we've had our differences, but I think we should try to get along better. Why? For Noah's sake. For Noah's sake? Well, you're a little late, Doc. I already told you we broke up. Oh, I've heard that before. Yeah, well, this time it's true. Okay. Well, if you ever need somebody to talk okay, to... Okay, 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 okay. Can you just... Just stop and tell me what you want? Fine. The neurology wing at the hospital is going to suck. What? But I thought you designed it. I did, but we don't have enough money to do it right. You're not kidding me. No, uh, Henry Coleman's donation is only going to go so far, and if we want to have the best facility in the world... Uh, you need more money. Yeah, then you're loaded. And you're insane. Not why. You're a, a generous guy. You've got a foundation, you make loads of grants. I'm just asking you to make one more. So after all this time, throwing the fact that I have money in my face, you're sitting here asking for a handout? The money's not for me. Oh, that's bull. And of course, it's so like you to go about this without even acknowledging what happened the other day. Nothing happened between us the other day. No, I know, I know, I know that... I was talking about the guy at the Lakeview who said you murdered his daughter. Oh, that. So that guy called you a murderer. What happened? I told you, his daughter had a brain tumor. It was a very risky operation. In the end, she didn't make it, but I managed to give her a year of life she wouldn't have otherwise had. And that's all? What more do you think happened, Mr. Snyder? Patients die all the time. It sucks, but there it is. You don't have any compassion for them? Every patient I have is either a mother, or father, or brother, or sister. Oh, or... You are cold. Look, either you're going to help me or you're not. Amazing. Amazing. So you can come and ask me for thousands. Millions. Millions? Yeah. And I can't even question your professional history? Somehow that makes me the bad guy? No, it makes you nosy. My questions are legitimate. No, what they are is unnecessary. And if that's how you want to play this, you can forget I asked. You calm down yet? No. You know, there's a lot of ways to raise money. I tried that. Well, hopefully you didn't try to rob the bank. I'm not the one committing a crime here. I know this, uh, this, uh, addition to the hospital was to be your monument. Do you think that's what I care about? I think that's a big part of it. I want to save lives that can't be saved anywhere else. That's all. If I have to have a big ego to accomplish that, so be it. Now, that's the, not the only thing that matters. What's more important? Well, that's very important, but there are other things in life. Like what? Like friends and family and finding a home. Sounds time-consuming. You know, maybe someday somebody will come along and change your mind about that. Dougie Hughes, how do you stop this home and family sermon? You don't. You know, as long as you're here, I'm going to do what I can to help you with your winning personality. Wish I'd known that before I signed the contract. i a patient. Well, it's happening. What's happening? I spoke to the executive director of my foundation. We're going to donate the money to the Snyder Pavilion. How much? You're welcome. 
And as for how much, how much do you need? Bob Hughes has the budget. Well, have him send it over. Whatever your shortfall is, we'll make it up. Thank you. It's, that's really great of you. Wow. You almost sound like you mean that. I do. I, I don't know how to repay you. Well, you can't. And also, there's going to be a few conditions. Okay. First, no one can find out that I'm the one that donated the money. I don't want him thinking that I'm trying to buy my way back into his life. Are you? <laughs> and second, I want to see it on the board. I want to be a part of the decision-making process. Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. These are conditions, Dr. Oliver. They're not requests. You and me working together? You don't see how that could be a problem? Well, I guess you're gonna have to work really hard to make sure that it isn't.